So I'm parked at Crestwell Crags and I noticed this. It looks like a large old quarry just here. The various works. There are actually buildings on there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come round to the front area and show you where they're reclaiming what I'm told was Hodthorpe Colliery Slag Heap. So here you can see where they're reclaiming the old colliery slag heap. Now I wonder how many other slag heaps have just got earth on top of this. So looks a considerable reserve under here. Let's see if I can get a better view from around the corner. So you can see quarry here or whatever I don't know. Looks quite some quarry. And then we'll just go on the other side. Does anybody know what's going off around here? So you can see just here, Whitwell Colliery, considerable buildings. So does anybody know? What they actually do at Whitwell Colliery, what they actually mining. What I'll do is I'll quickly get a better view of that slag heap round there because what I think they're doing is reclaiming any coal in it. And I'm just wondering how many slag heaps across the UK are covered just with clay or whatever with assets still underneath. Because whether they use it for coal or not, there are always byproducts of coal that they can use for byproducts of coal to make other products out of. So you can see a better view of the old slag heap from Thorpe Colliery being cleaned up. So I'd be really interested in the process for that. But what's the assets lying under other old colliery slag heaps around the UK? See if we can get one better view on it as I go back up to the car. But I don't know if this is a lime this has been a limestone quarry or whatever. So this is a final view of the reclamation of Bob Thorpe. Colliery. Now if I hadn't have known about this, I wouldn't have known about Whitwell Quarry either. So th things are happening all the time. But I think it was absolute madness to shut all our collieries down. We're now heavily subsidising wind and solar. It's costing us a fortune in energy. We could have been burning coal cleanly until we had a real green solution. Whether that's nuclear fusion, which will be a clean nuclear energy without byproducts, or whether splitting water into H2O rather than hydrogen. I mean, at the moment, they are developing a car, a water powered car, not an hydrogen powered car, not one of these electric cars. Either that I think are not viable. So that's it, just a quick update on that. Once a scar on the landscape, which people born after 1990 won't remember all the collieries dotted around our countryside. This area would have had loads of collieries and loads of slag heaps. So that's it, over and out from Oddthorpe Colliery Reclamation.